everybody, my name is Kyle Lazarus 39 welcome back to another video. Today in this one I'll be doing another card analysis video and in this one I'll be covering the new Volcanic support that just got announced about an hour ago. Yes, Volcanics have finally got support. It took them what, 1500 days I feel like it was at since the last time they got support but it's finally here so without further ado let's get straight into the video. Alrighty, now on to the new cards themselves here. So, 15, holy shit, 1,505 days of waiting for new support. Holy fuck. But you finally got the new support for Volcanics. Starting off with Volcanic Emperor, a level 8 fire pyro special summon effect monster with 3,100 attack and 2,400 Defense cannot be normal or set, must be spell summoned from your hand or graveyard by banishing three pyro monsters or one blaze accelerator card from face up field and or graveyard. You can only spell someone emperor once uh, per turn this way. So you kind of don't want to banish the accelerator because you want the reload in graveyard. Uh, so you don't want to do that. So you're probably going to be banishing the three pyro monsters instead. Uh, so interesting. Uh, when it's summoned this way, you can inflict 500 damage for each pyro monster currently banished. Okay, so if you banish three pyros for its summon, that's a guaranteed 1500 damage. Then set a volcanic trap directly from your deck, except for eruption. Yes, eruption is this weird card. It has volcanic in its name, but it's not a volcanic card. It, it's, I think it's a Jurassic World card or something like that. Okay, so just not eruption. Cool, cool, cool. They're probably gonna have to change the name of this. Um, Interesting, very interesting. And then each time your opponent spells summons a monster, inflict 500 damage. Oh my god, we are going into the burn really, really damn. Okay, so burn's gonna be an actual thing with this uh deck. Very good, very good. I like this, I like this card. Very, very good card here. Uh, no legal targets for this card are Inferno and Recharge. Uh, what is Inferno? I've heard of Recharge, but is Inferno? Uh, probably a new card, probably a new card. I know Recharge is like not great so they're probably not gonna be playing that but inferno it depends on i think that's a new card because that's the first time i've heard about that um and then it says volcanic eruption is not a volcanic trap card in the ocg where all this all matters we uh and we'll need its name changed so in the ocg uh volcanic eruption is not called that but in tct it is so it's just kind of a um a language thing where we just kind of interpreted it wrong so we're gonna probably have to change the name with that Okay, new level 3 fire pyro effect monster, Volcanic Trooper, 1,000 attack and 1,000 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is no longer spell summon, add one Volcanic card from your deck to your hand, except for Trooper or Eruption. Again, Eruption for the same shit, but you can't add itself. Cool, cool. That's that's whatever, right? Um, very interesting. Gets to add any card, so you can add like the spell traps as well, as long as they mention Volcanic, right? So very, very good card. Then discard a card, spell someone one bomb token to your opponent's field with, uh, it looks to be, uh, Pyro Fire, level one, a thousand attack, thousand defense. When this token is destroyed, it, controller takes 500 damage. So again, just playing into burn your opponent out of the game kind of thing there. Very interesting card effect, uh, there. A uh, new level one here. We're playing Volcanic Rimfire, a level one fire pyro effect monster with 300 attack and zero defense. If this card is sent to the graveyard, activate one of these effects. Banish this card from your graveyard. If you do, send one volcanic monster from your deck to the graveyard, except for Rimfire. Okay, that's not terrible whatsoever. So if you keep the reload live in your uh, field and you have this in hand, you send this, uh, trigger its effects, dumping either shell. You can also just dump a uh, scatter shot as well. Works with this as well and this also banishes itself so this plays into the volcanic emperor to get more banished cards to just keep inflicting damage that way okay very interesting then banish one blaze accelerator card from your face up field or graveyard and if you do place one blaze accelerator continuous trap from your hand or deck from to the face up spell trap zone okay that's not that great because you do, you want the reloading graveyard to dump but i guess if you're dumping this and this has this is on field effect this is ever it's the field this is its effect um, this doesn't seem that great. It's it's sense of graveyard effect seems nice, but it's graveyard effect uh, or on field effect doesn't seem that great. And you can only use it if it once per turn. Alrighty, now on to the spell traps here. We got a volcanic blaze accelerator. We're getting a new blaze accelerator card. Okay, it's a continuous spell card. Activate this card by sending one blaze accelerator uh, from your hand deck or fit. What the? F <laughs> what? what? Are you, are you joking me? So you can just activate this, sending reload to the graveyard? What the fuck? That's insane. Holy shit. You can only control one volcanic blaze accelerator. Okay, 
Makes sense. You don't want this game multiple effects, right? Uh, once per turn, spell someone one volcanic monster from your hand. Okay, that's like whatever, I guess. Uh, but uh, then the third effect here is once per turn, target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Send one level one pyro monster from your deck to graveyard if you do destroy the target. What the f Dude, this card is insane. Holy shit. What? It can send from deck to grave. What are they? Damn. Okay, you can send Shell or the new level 1 Fire that can just dump any other Volcanic as well. Holy shit. That's insane. Hold, that's so fucking good. Holy shit. Very, very good card there. Very insane. Holy shit. Okay, we got Fire Injection, a normal spell card. You can only activate one of this card's name once per turn. Okay, whatever. Uh, send one Pyro Monster from your deck to your graveyard. Then if it's a Volcanic Monster, apply one of these effects. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to its level times 100. Okay, so just kind of playing more to the burn. Or spell someone one bomb token, the fire pyro level one, a thousand attack, thousand defense to your opponent's field. When that is destroyed, the controller takes 500 damage. Okay, um, kind of playing more, just sending a card and then special token. You want to destroy the token to inflict more damage and stuff. Uh, it's an all right card. I don't think it's the best thing in the world. It is a foolish burial for a pyro monster though, so there's that. Uh, but overall, it, yeah, it's a decent card. Decent card, not too terrible. Alrighty, Volcanic Inferno. Okay, this is the new trap card. It's a continuous trap. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. When your opponent activates a monster effect on field, you can banish one Pyro monster from your graveyard, inflict 500 uh, damage to your opponent. Then if you banish a Volcanic monster, negate... This has a monster negate? Holy... Okay. Oh. Okay. That's, that's very fucking good. Inflict five and then negates. This is probably your... That's insane. Th this is very, very good. That seems very good. And then the second effect here is during your opponent's end phase, target with two, up to two volcanic monsters that are banished or in your graveyard, place them to the bottom of the deck in any order. Okay, this gets your scatter shots back. Also gets your shell backs if you're uh, banishing those as well. Um, interesting. This is a very, very good card and it's settable off the, the, the level eight guy here as well. So that's the new support. Now the reprints are going to be shell... Uh, scatter shot, volcanic rocket, blaze accelerator, and blaze accelerator reload. So yeah, those are all the new cards. Now let's get into my opinions on the cards. So is the new volcanic support actually good? I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I think it's fucking insane. Now, again, I'm not the biggest lover of volcanics, you know, so I don't know if this is like super good, I could be just the wrong person to ask. But just looking at the cards and knowing what like reload and scatter shot and um, um, the fucking the level one pyro the uh, shell shell, um, all those cards just in my mind plus this new support. This looks to be fucking insane. This looks to be super fucking good. Like the new blaze accelerator card just does everything. It sends the Blaze Accelerator uh, reload from deck to graveyard. It gets you a free special and it gets to destroy a card without locking you unlike the original Blaze Accelerator. So like, it just seems so good. They have an actual boss monster they can actually go off of with this new level eight guy, which can, you know, burn them and then has the on-field effect you inflict 500 damage to your opponent for every time they special summon. This just seems insane to me. I Again, I could be the wrong person to ask this, but this just seems like it does everything for the archetype. It feels like everything that got uh, released for this set just, just benefits Volcanic in every single way. This seems so, so good. It seems very insane. It actually makes you know burning a lot turn one and then setting up on your boss monster realistic. It seems very, very good. So yeah, that is my opinion on the archetype. But let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new support for Volcanics. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content on the channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.